This is breaking news at this hour. Shocking allegations of a college admissions scheme coming to light today. The FBI has accused dozens of people, including the actresses that you see on the screen, Felicity Huffman and Lori Laughlin, of bri bribing school officials to get their kids into some elite universities. Prosecutors laid out the charges earlier today. The parents charged today, despite already being able to give their children every legitimate advantage in the college admissions game, instead chose to corrupt and illegally manipulate the system for their benefit. We're not talking about donating a building so that a school's more likely to take your son or daughter. We're talking about deception and fraud. Fake test scores, fake athletic credentials, fake photographs, bribed college officials. I want to bring in now Philip Holloway, former assistant district attorney. I love having you on something like this because when I spit out these names, you can talk about how serious this is. Georgetown, Stanford, Wake Forest University, UCLA, Yale, uh, accused of recruiting athletes regardless of their athletic ability, being assessed, assisted, given access that the rest of us can't have. And you say, how serious is this case against these people? It's quite serious, and it's stunning, isn't it, Harris? You know, it seems like, allegedly at least, these people think that what they can do is escape the criminal justice system by having access to a bag man who really, maybe unbeknownst mm. to them, forms the center spoke of the conspiracy wheel where each individual uh, spoke around that wheel, you know, their individual defendants. They may not necessarily all know each other, but apparently they might all know the same bag man. And under federal criminal law, Harris, the, mm -hmm. the conspiracy alone, the agreement to get involved in this mess, that alone is enough to trigger federal criminal liability and the threat of merely one year in jail. And in fact, I think it may be much more. But even if it's just one year in terms of these white collar cases, that is a sufficient deterrent to keep anybody else who might be thinking wow. about remotely doing something similar from doing just what these people have been charged with. More than 40 people indicted in this scheme. One California man, and I'm, I'm drilling down on this now, is accused of steering the money to either the SAT or ACT administrator to help the students get admitted, like better test scores being reported than they actually were. But how exposed are the universities? Because Yale has said it is a victim of this crime perpetrated by, in their case, a former women's soccer coach to get athletes at the university. Are the universities, are these colleges complicit or are they exposed legally? Allegedly, their agents are complicit in many instances. They're accusing, you know, coaches and people that maybe on the payroll of not only the bag man, but on the payroll, the legitimate payroll of the university. But I tell you, Harris, the real victims in this case are the, the people out there, the, the young ladies, for example, who work hard. They try to make good grades. They get good SAT, ACT scores. And when they go to sign up for admission, they find out that their place at that university has been bought and paid for and sold to the highest bidder because wow. somebody else thought that they could use their privilege and their money to put their child at the head of the line. Have you ever heard of anything like this or, or does this stuff happen and we just learn about it now because of actresses' names like Felicity Huffman and Lori Laughlin? Unfortunately, Harris, I believe that this is something that's not new. It's been going on for a while. You know, the FBI has a lot of things that they can be looking at, and I'm glad that if, if this is going on, I'm glad they're looking at it because it can hopefully deter others and put an end to this kind of corrupt practice. A lot of us have known and suspected for a long time that you've got basically two different educational systems, those for people yeah. who work hard and try to get in and those who try to buy their way in. And it looks like the feds have finally uh, captured at least a big piece of this and, and will put a stop to it. Harris, this is something that's been going on for a long time, and I hope yeah. this sends a message loud and clear that this well, type look, of conduct is criminal and it won't be tolerated. You are so right about the children, about those who didn't get in because their spots were soaked up over this elite access that some people allegedly had, but also those kids who benefited from this because they're being told, Philip, that hard work won't be the answer. Somebody actually has to pave the way for you. That is tough for them, too. Uh, Philip Holloway, always good to have you on the program. Thank you. Thanks so much for having me.